Now, you are never lost ever. If you have a pulse and a breath and you are here, you're meant to be here. All I want you to know and all I want you to remember more than anything is that there is a, a reason for you to be here. Get your self-doubt out of the way so the universe can pour through you. Think of it this way. All you have to do is move your small mind, the, the mind that judges, the mind that tells you you don't have it, that you don't get it, that you're not enough, that you're going to fail, whatever the story is. It's about learning to dance with that mind, to look it in the face and be like, actually, no, that's not my story. Actually, no, you're wrong. When we begin to do that, we become powerful as fuck. And when we begin to do that, we begin to clear the debris out of our channels, clear to the clear the debris out of our system and that's what I mean by the universe pouring through us your prosperity your money your success is all inevitable when you are willing to fully accept and honor who you are at a core fundamental level I read a lot of books about success principles and all of them say that in order to truly, 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 truly be successful, all you have to do is get out of your own way and let something higher come through you. And most of all, you've got to love what you do. So that's also why I teach so much about self-love so that the universe's unique reason for you know, in, you incarnating can come through you. And so I want you to know that as you can love yourself, accept yourself, and really see yourself as you are without the debris, without the fear, without the self-doubt, without the self-judgment, it is a natural organic byproduct that your purpose will come to be. Does this make sense? Just move the fuck out of your own way and the inevitable energy that's there is your truth and your essence. And so my easiest guide post, the, the best way that I can share with you to get there is to love and accept all that you are. Wanted to stop being broke, wanted to be, you know, important, wanted to like have my work out there. I was a jewelry designer and I was like, okay, so how do I become successful? And he was like, hmm, you know, he'd like the long white beard and stuff. Legit, I'm not kidding you, I had a long, he was so special, he is so special. He pulls me a card and he goes, hmm, he's like, you want to know how to be successful? And I was like, yeah, yeah, whenever you're ready. And he goes, well, he's like, you've got to love and accept yourself. You've got to love yourself. I remember being like, what the fuck? That's not what I asked, Master One Feather. That's not what I wanted to know. But look, here we are. This is what I know to be true. All of my success finally came. My prosperity began to flow when I began to love and accept who I am. Why? Because the uni could flow through. Universal energy is powerful. And when we work in accordance with it, by loving and respecting and honoring ourselves, everything, I believe, this has my, been my experience, everything can flow through us. Think of that story as like the 24 year old me being your ego, the thing that pushes and thrives and wants to get there quickly and like, oh, like win, 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 go, 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 whatever, you know, the vain striving and then the wise, gentle wisdom of return home to your own self-love and it'll be there inevitably. And that's what I've learned. But just remember, your success is on the other side of your ability to be gentle and respectful with yourself. Like we, we've been taught that to be successful, it's like we have to whip ourselves into shape and we have to hurt ourselves along the process. and. That's not true. Tony Robbins talks about the science of fulfillment, 
I'm sorry, the science of achievement versus the art of fulfillment. Anybody can become successful. It's a science. You just figure it out. You can read books about people who've become successful, apply their methods, but it doesn't mean you'll be fulfilled. You want to be fulfilled. Learn the ability to fulfill yourself along the way so that when you do get the business or get the this or get the that, whatever the outcome result is that you want, you'll actually enjoy it because you know how to fulfill yourself, okay? You gotta just follow the heart. It's so fucking corny, but it's because it's fucking true. Corny shit's true. My sisters, we don't say the word try. You just do. You just find ways to be good to yourself. I teach mirror work in everything that I do because mirror work is one of the most powerful, quick and easy, slash slightly intense ways to get you in resonance with who you are and in resonance with your power. Because you gotta stop avoiding yourself. Know that you are powerful beyond belief. I used to feel very fragile in the world. You are more powerful than you know. Some of the most powerful human beings incarnate on the planet right now. You're not fragile. Negative energy, it is what it is. Be in your power. Build up your own energy for the from the space of love. That's it. Literally build yourself up from the inside out from love. Do a dance. Get powerful. Take a cold shower in the morning and not if you're on your moon cycle. The reason I say all of this is because I want you to cultivate and find ways as a sensitive person to get powerful in and of yourself because then other people's energy, what you do is you bless them. People are being negative around you, bless them. So you're more powerful than any negative energy around you. Send it love, send it blessings. It's got no fucking phase on you. What you do on the daily with yourself, with your own energy, is everything to living a phenomenal life. And where I got really tuned in on this was at Unleash the Power Within with Tony Robbins. Like the breathwork thing that I taught you babes last week and just everything with like like the cold showers I'm talking about in Kundalini, it's called Ishnan, like holy bathing. Um, these are all ways for you to be in charge of your own energy because when you're in charge of your own energy, friendships, everything changes around you. Your energy and really work with your own body and your own spirit and your own awareness, the world, like the world bends towards you. When you shift, everything shifts. And so what we got to do is be so strong and powerful in ourselves and in our own heart. It, w- it almost amazed me that I didn't go to that place with him. I just sent him pure love because I could tell he needed it instead of reacting to him. You know what I mean? Is that amazing? That's why people around us, they test us, but it's really just to see how centered we are. Are making big shifts, big changes. Just know that usually the, the byproduct... Um, of that is you get low or you feel like you feel heavy or you get depressed because I like to look at that in two ways. Number one, you're releasing old stagnant energy. Number two, it also has to do with, you know, when you're lightening and shifting, it's a new neural pathway for your brain and your mammalian brain, your mitochondria, the stuff that's very ancient about your, your circuitry likes when you stay small and comfortable. So it's a little bit of both. Yes, the breath work in the shower. And when you're taking a cold shower, not on your menstrual cycle, not if you're pregnant, and even pre-menstrual, don't take cold showers. Be gentle, do warming things for your body. But something that helps is when you're in the cold shower, blast some fun fucking music and breathe in through your mouth. The breath work really helps and say warm, 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 warm. Yay, the self-love and mirror work you inspired me to do works. It's magical. Yes, babes, mirror work is where it's at. Okay, so here's something that has helped me. So the breath work, the... (laughs) That breath work, I do a prayer. I list my 10 gratitudes before I go to bed 
and before and when I wake up, even sometimes before I wake up. But here's the thing, if you do your gratitudes, Tony Robbins says you can't be grateful and fearful at the same time. So for any of you who have trouble sleeping or you get anxious or stressed at night, I want you to count your 10 gratitudes on your hands, okay? Like I'm great. Always say you're grateful for your health first. I'm grateful for my health and vitality. I also say I'm grateful to breathe through my nose because I had really bad allergies recently. I couldn't breathe through my nose. So I'm always like, oh, I'm so grateful I can breathe through my nose. And then grateful for the love in my life. So I would say Mick, my family, my parents, Mick's family, like, and just go through your gratitudes because gratitude gets you in a really high a receptive state with universal energy and I think the universe celebrates with us when we are in gratitude. The universe doesn't understand lack because this is a holographic experience so when you're vibrating at lack you get lack. When you're vibrating in abundance, fullness, and gratitude you get those energies. Find some breath work that works for you that you connect with and then also do your gratitudes and dance your ass off every day. That's something I've been teaching in all of my classes lately, just getting all my girls to just fucking dance and celebrate for no reason because then you find that the spring of energy is within you versus being volatile to what good is happening or what bad is happening. You see what I mean? You get more solid in your own energy. I really hope that that helps. Babes, we got to get out of our own way because it's not about us. Imagine if I played small and I didn't do all the cuckoo shit that I do and I didn't teach and I didn't get out of my own way. Imagine if I told myself, I can't do it. I don't make a difference. Blah, 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 blah. Babes, the reason we bring our light to the world, it's not about us. It's about who we're impacting and it's mostly about the generations beneath us because we can stop a lot of suffering in the world just by raising our kids as best we can with some, some love and light and respect and consciousness. A lot of us deal with a lot of shit, not because our parents sucked, but just because a lot of them didn't know because they didn't, hadn't worked on it with themselves on how to you know bring a different energy into the world how to teach their kids about self-love about self-respect self-empowerment so just remember that you know there's I, that's why i want you to get out of your own way i want you to bring through the light that you're meant to bring through and in order to do that you got to love and accept who you are so with mirror work what you want to do is you want to get in front of the mirror and meet your own gaze so like i'm doing right now because i'm talking to myself on my phone uh so you meet your own gaze in the mirror and what you do is you hold your gaze and what you do is you open up a conversation with yourself and you hold the gaze hold the gaze just to the eyes you don't judge your face you don't judge what's going on with your skin or your hair or whatever you literally just meet your own gaze and you have a conversation with yourself you open up a conversation so a great way that i like to have people open up mirror work is i like them to do the mantra like i love myself i accept myself and you say it over and over and then what i have you do is holding your gaze in the mirror you have a conversation with yourself you ask yourself what you've been needing you ask yourself yourself like you you just affirm everything that you've been wanting to hear from other people okay you literally whatever you want in this world you have to be for yourself first I've learned that the hard way that's for sure so what I want you to do is get in that mirror and you talk to yourself and have a, open up a conversation and maybe you tell yourself things that you've always needed to hear but haven't no one's ever told you okay you got to be it for yourself first so i hope that helps and i hope you guys love mirror work it's very powerful everything that i teach and every bit of feedback that i get people always talk to me about mirror work first how do you regain an energy if you're feeling physically and emotionally drained um me personally or maybe you're asking for you so get in tune with nature go get your bare feet on the earth get yourself to the beach get yourself into a forest um nature is the ultimate healer at all times 
I always thought it was funny that people like make fun of hippies and sometimes call me a hippie and stuff. And I'm just like, well, the hippies know what they're talking about because getting in tune with the frequency and the resonance of, of nature is very, very important. And if you're feeling physically, emotionally drained, that I would say would be step one. A couple other things you can do absolutely is Oh my goodness, mirror work. Um, do some self-care practices for yourself, like whatever you feel like you've been missing in your life, whatever feels like, whatever you think that you'd like to do, and then, but you're like, oh, I don't have the time or the money. I want you to do just that. I want you to do that thing. You got to give to yourself first. I always say you can't hand like if someone's thirsty in your life, you can't hand them an empty glass with nothing in it. You're not helping them. So the, what I'm getting at is that you've got to fill up your own cup because when your cup is full, let's say like that glass of water, that glass is full of beautiful, clear water, clean water. Then when someone needs something from you, you can hand them a glass of water when they're thirsty. I love you. I love you guys so much.